good afternoon from Monday. I am not at work today. I feel like utter shit. Utter shit. All my glands are up in my neck. I've just been to the doctors. Started off with a doctor's appointment for my hip to try and get referred to a physio. Did turn into a bit of an MOT because she was like, do you feel well in yourself? And I was like, fucking no. And I've got loads of raised glands in my hip as well, on my groin. I've got my fucking rest day wrap in front of me and I've taken three bites out of it and I had to give up again because it's just so painful. I am still going to go and get my eyebrows done tonight because I was planning to do it anyway and I, I'll just feel like shit there. It's not really strenuous, I'll lie down for an hour and a half. They've prescribed me some anti-inflammatories and want to see if it goes down within a couple of weeks after a course of those and then they will do some blood tests if it hasn't but to be honest I want some blood tests anyway because I have health anxiety and that's the only thing that's gonna make me sure that I have not got something nasty I am the way I am oops one hour later I've changed my eyebrow appointment to Wednesday because I'm just feeling worse now. I'm not good at sitting still and resting. So whilst I have been sitting still, I've been writing out all of our, I'm having an icy poll, all of our thank you cards, which has Take it out of me, to be honest. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I don't feel any better. I don't feel worse, but I don't feel any better. My boobs feel huge. My period should be due today. Can't wait for that. Anyway, you can't actually see how swollen everything is, but it feels horrendous. So today I've got a 10 minute dentist appointment, a 10 minute dentist appointment just to see whether there's anything I need to be concerned about in my mouth because that's where all of the pain is. I can't open my mouth very wide. Yesterday I did struggle to eat my normal meals. I'm struggling to swallow, I'm struggling to talk. This vlog is probably not going to be very exciting at all but it is what it is. That's about so much. <sighs> got a blood test on Friday. I've got my first physio appointment tomorrow and I've got my vaccinations on Friday afternoon. It's not going to be a good week where I'm feeling great. <laughs> I don't know what I can, else I can do really. I'm off work again today which I hate because now I've just got back to work anxiety about my emails and everything else piling up because oh, this sounds really arrogant and it's not it's just the way that our team works no one picks up your stuff while you're away it's, it's only you that can do it so there isn't the capacity to do it even if they want to food wise yesterday I had my oats in the morning my rest day oats I had my wrap which I really struggled to eat and I had a chicken and rice meal now in terms of what I had else that was on plan I had my 200 free calories I had the mini kit cat chunky did I regret it as soon as I bit into it yes because it hurt me to eat it but then I just thought well I'm not doing that again tomorrow I'm just sucked it up but I missed my banana, I missed my squares bar, I missed my beef meal. But what I did have was a big old tub of yoghurt. And yesterday I was so bored that I tried to make some banana bread. So I had one of the muffins that I made. There were some bananas going black on the side so I made some banana muffins. I had one of them. And even that was just more fucking hassle than it was worth. 
It's not that I've got no appetite, it's just that I cannot physically get this stuff in my mouth and swallow it. So I'm making my oats at the minute and I'm making them very, very soggy. <laughs> what else did I have yesterday? I had a ton of ice lollies. I did have one of the stuffed puppy lollies, which was more calories than I would like in an ice lolly. But then I had some of the low calorie ones. I went out to Tesco and I specifically bought the 14 calories per icy pole ones because I was like, I can't keep doing that. So we we'll just have another day of resting today. That's all I can do. I'm going to do a bit of work today on some collaboration stuff that I'm working on because that needs doing and what perfect timing when I just cannot move. I really wanted to get my steps in yesterday but it's so fucking hot. When I'm walking for a long period of time I just start to feel really fevery and it's just not contributing to my recovery. I'm also struggling to hydrate unless my water is ice cold. I'm struggling so much to swallow. So this is a very miserable vlog entry, but I'm really sorry that this is how life is this week. Fucking hell. I feel sick just making this. Oh. <laughs> Update. I've just been to the dentist. Oh Christ, I need to have my wisdom tooth out, basically. It's caused an ulcer which has got infected, which is why it's absolutely fucking with my neck. <sighs> Fantastic. He did offer to do it then and there, but then I was like, what do I do with my braces? I probably ought to talk to my orthodontist. Anyway, picked up my anti-inflammatories, got my amoxicillin prescription which I'm just about to go and get I'm fucking done man I just want to be able to eat my food I just want to be able to eat my food and sleep I'm still going for the blood test on Friday to just rule out any other nasties because why not we love a health conscious queen but yeah fucking hell um, I've just sent an update to my manager like, I still feel like shit, cool, bye. But yeah, this, uh, this infected ulcer is not, not great for me. I'm just over it to be honest. I've just sat and had a cry because I cannot eat this chicken and rice oh, I know this vlog has just started off like a fucking piece of shit but I text my manager like I'm gonna try and come back to work tomorrow and then about half an hour later and as my neck and my face started throbbing I was like scratch that I'm gonna try and get my teeth out tomorrow I can't cope with it I can't eat. The widest I can get my mouth open to try and... Pathetic. I can't. And the, the taste in my mouth from this infection. Map's got to come out. Sent Andy to the shop for some yoghurt more yogurt and maybe some like fruit to help me something soft anything cold <laughs> fucking hell a three good morning it's wednesday i am so desperate to get this tooth out that i just came and sat at my dentist at eight o'clock in the morning just in case when i called that they could take it out now <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> ah, right. I'm gonna, they've said that they can get me in at 10. That's the first appointment they've got. I'm gonna go home, get my headphones because I completely forgot them and I need that for any extraction as a distraction. 
and we'll go and walk around and get some steps in whilst I'm waiting. Um, but yeah, that thing needs to come out. I can't do another day of this. A few moments later. Right. I've had so much anaesthetic. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to be able to feel my face again. <laughs> oh, God. They took my teeth out. Thank you. Apparently, top, top teeth, if you've got to have any out at the back, are the lottery win of teeth to have taken out because of the way that your jaw is. Didn't really feel like that this week, I'll be honest. So I've got a huge, as I said, like, what does it look like at the back? She's like, oh, disgusting, this ulcer's huge. I was like, ew. But that's what's causing all of the swelling and inflammation all down the side of my neck. So hopefully it'll improve now. She's put a little sponge in the socket to allow it to clot and close. I'm going to struggle to eat now, which is annoying because... I really need to take my antibiotics and um yeah I can't eat but that feels better already well, of course it will I'm full of anaesthetic but hopefully throughout the day that feels a lot better I'm going to stop talking because I'll only end up biting myself thankful for that thankful for that so today I've got my physio appoint my first physio appointment and I've got my eyebrow session later at five o'clock so I'm gonna go home get some rest whilst this while well, this does this just try and take it easy because this infection is bad. So I've just been to my physio appointment my numbness is starting to wear off my feelings started to come back and I'm not all, I'm not feeling great. I had a nap before I went to my physio appointment. I'm feeling beat. I'm feeling really beat. My physio appointment was good. Surprise, surprise. I need to do some work on my core and I need to work on my pelvic tilt because apparently I naturally stand with like almost opposing bum tilt <laughs> and uh, yeah it's just something that I need to work on going forward so I've taken that away and we'll incorporate some of that in just a bit of mindfulness about how I'm standing how I'm sitting and do some of the exercises that I've been given but I'm just nipping in to Tesco to grab a yogurt <laughs> and I've got my eyebrow appointment at five it's now 20 to three so I'm going to get a little bit of a walk in there because I've not done a lot of steps today at all I've just been very very tired no one's going to kick my ass for not doing steps this you know this week I've been really poorly so it is what it is but for me I'd like to do a little bit of something just because I've been inside for three days and that's not something that I'm good at is just sitting and doing not a lot at all. It's Thursday. I returned to the gym this morning. It was all right. It was a reps and reserve session. I've been back at work for an hour and I'm already wondering why the fuck I've done it. 
people there just winding me up, something chronic. I literally can't be fucking asked. If this person is passive aggressive to me one more time, I'm just going to tell them they can shove it. Still can't open my mouth. But whatever. I am a little less miserable than I was earlier. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thank God. Finished work now. I've just been to Lidl and picked up a couple of bits. This eyebrow pigment, whilst it is warmer, should cool and also won't fade as much, apparently. I just don't have the skin for it. It'll be what it'll be. It'll be better than it was. I'm trying to gas myself up to do about 5,000 steps now. It's really muggy outside and a bit gross, but I'm trying to just be grateful for the energy to be outside and go for a walk, which after today and being pissed off at everything, it's hard to muster, but I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, today's been a struggle. The whole week's been a struggle, but there, there are people far worse off than myself. So I'm going to suck it up and crack on with my night. I might do my nails. Things that I want to do this weekend or at some point tonight, Friday, whenever, do my nails and finish off the rest of my thank you cards from the wedding because that is just, I've left that far too long for me personally. So I want to get them done and sent Saturday would be really nice. Whilst I'm on the subject of things to be grateful for, look what has just opened opposite my house. Fantastic. Yes, I have already inquired about what a Botox process <laughs> Good morning. It's Friday. Um, oh, by the way, did my nails last night. Why does a French mani never go this well when it's white? <laughs> Dunno. Anyway, I've just trained quads and delts and it wasn't too bad. I didn't want to go back to a full leg session until I'd had a day on my proper food, like training day, the day before food and training day food. And I managed that yesterday, full day back on plan is it still tough to eat yes but i managed it that session on my more demanding movements i took the weight right down and just focused on tempo and my form and like got really deep in the leg press but only put about 40 kilo on so I've still got plenty of stimulus from it, which is what I wanted, but didn't want to push it too hard because it's really clear that my body is still recovering and it will take longer than a few days to do that. So yeah, better than I thought it would go, I'll be honest. My period still isn't here. <laughs> uh, I've done a pregnancy test this week. It was negative, but I must admit that was the f like, other than my period being late, that is the only time that I've had like pregnancy symptoms. I would, I kept going back to my bloating about four weeks ago, three weeks ago and thinking, actually, that is one of the first kind of signs that women get when they are in the very, very early stages of pregnancy, like just feeling like they need to fart but can't. <laughs> and I kept thinking back to that and thinking, maybe this is actually it, maybe I am. But my pregnancy test came back negative, so I'm just gonna have to wait. It feels like it was late before I already started taking my antibiotics. They will not help. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to ride this one out and see what happens. I haven't had any pains at all. <laughs> maybe I'll get another test. I'm sure it'll be fine imagine fucking hell just as i'd really got my head into i'm competing next year imagine if i got pregnant i mean i'd be happy eventually but i'd be fucking fuming for at least three days it's three o'clock and i've had to sign off work early because my period pains are that bad oh. 
Friday night. I've just finished all of my check-ins and been to the GP to have my vaccines for the honeymoon. I can't actually remember what they are. One is, M right, MMR typhoid or tetanus? Tetanus, Hep A, I can't remember the other one, maybe it was typhoid. I've no idea, but anyway, I'm all set. My arms are quite sore. So we'll see how I get on with that. The MMR is a live vaccine though, so I might feel a bit shit, but I might not at the minute, I'm feeling fine. So my period pains earlier were kicking my ass so much that I actually had to sign out of work early. I was really struggling today with that. Just on top of everything else, I'm wiped. And speaking of wiped, I don't think I've actually given any feedback from my check-in yesterday. <laughs> Probably because there's nothing to tell. Amy was just like, you are fucked. You're fucked. And she was right. When I wrote that check-in on Wednesday night, I was fucked. But yes, yesterday when I sent the check-in, I actually felt that little bit better. So she was like, I want no training. I want none of this. And I was like, actually, I've just got back. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I guess that's what happens. Like I felt well enough. Uh, her only guidance on getting back into training was around don't go straight in with legs, go in with an upper, which is what I did anyway. I trained upper on Thursday and I started to ease back into legs this morning. It's quite nice actually, it's quite reassuring that I really, really trust Amy. I respect her massively as a coach. And it's quite nice that I, I will make a decision for me and then she will say the same thing. It's just reassuring as someone that is starting to coach my own clients and stuff that I, I do know what's right. I do know the right thing to do and what to prioritize and blah, 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 and how to, navigate some of these obstacles which my clients might face as well so yeah it's just it's just nice but the reason why I didn't feed back on my check-in yesterday was because there really wasn't a lot to feed back I haven't been on plan this week I've tried but there were some foods that I just couldn't get down me I haven't trained some days I barely got off the sofa. There wasn't a lot to say from my check-in. Just that like I'm looking all right considering that I've done absolutely nothing this week. Hopefully I'm feeling well enough to put in a decent lower session. At the moment my antibiotics are working, my anti-inflammatories are working, all of this feels normal, the pain is subsiding feel like I'm coming out the other side. I'm so sorry <laughs> for how miserable Moni and just slightly depressing this vlog has been up until now, but that's been my week. That's been my week and I'm not, there's nothing to fake is there. It just, it's still kind of interesting to me to see how things like this impact training and someone in off season. So it all serves a kind of purpose for me. It might just might not be very exciting or enjoyable for you to watch. So I'm sorry, but it is what it is. But I've been back on plan a couple of days now. I'm feeling good for it. I'm feeling energized. So I'm just going to get another 3,000 steps in on the treadmill. I'm watching Gilmore Girls. Andy's out. Andy's in London this weekend with his friend Rob. And they're going to a festival or something. I don't, don't actually know. I should probably know. <laughs> He'll be back on Sunday. I have. Do you know what I did forget? And I'm so pleased that... One, I booked it, and two, I forgot about it because it's been such a nice little surprise this week. A lady rang me today and was like, Hannah, um, your reservation at Hickory's on Sunday, are you still coming? I was like, oh, yeah, 
here I am. <laughs> totally forgot. So that's something to look forward to. I don't know whether I'll have two off plans this weekend because <sighs> I feel like I've kind of earned it. I don't know what I want tomorrow. Usually we will eat together and enjoy something together. I don't know whether I'll have something on my own or not, or whether I'll just wait it out for hickories. Because even though I've not been off on plan this week, I've not eaten shit. I've just basically eaten yogurt where I could not eat anything else. So I'm probably down on my calories anyway. Certainly not a hickory's worth, but I feel like I kind of deserve it. Two more, 15 minutes to start out first.
I have just done somewhat of a lower session. Was it my entire lower session that I should have done? No, I did skip a couple of things, but I did do some stage walking. I just wanted to do just enough that I felt a pump. I took some muscle groups to failure. I just still want to go a little bit easy on myself and lower body training ain't good for that. <laughs> so I just took a couple of bits out and um and cracked on but i did do a little bit of stage walking i think stage walking is so overlooked and last week i was so pleased with myself last week when we were at the team dw posing seminar we were doing our stage walks and i was doing mine and kayla pointed at me and she was like that's what i'm looking for and i was like oh my god i've got something right <laughs> i do practice it a lot because i just think there's nothing it's not nothing worse but when someone walks out onto stage and they haven't been practicing that walk and they're not comfortable in heels you see it and you feel it and then when they're hitting their poses you're not looking at them you're looking at the one that was walking really nice i know that sounds really silly but that's where m my eye line is drawn to people that are just like oh she she's feeling herself and if my eyes are being drawn to it, maybe the judges are too. So I do like to work on that so that when I walk out on stage, um, I at least look confident, even if I'm not. But I'm going to get home now. My mum and dad and stepdad are going to buy some fish today near Doncaster. And they're leaving in about an hour. And it'd be nice to spend some time with them. Not that I have any interest in buying any fish. But I'm going to try and get my shit together so that I can go with them. Because I just haven't spent like one-on-one -on -one time with them for a couple of weeks so i gonna see if I can do that and turn things around very quickly I don't necessarily need to be well presented so that's a good thing and working in my favour so far I'm not very helpful here's a cat yeah yeah <laughs> he's so cool I want mum to get this one, but she says she doesn't like him and I think that's racist. I am back from a lovely day with my family. Sometimes just doing simple stuff like that. Something that I don't even want to do. Like, I don't give a fuck about fish, but they all have fish tanks and they love it. So they were really enjoying shopping for fish and I was being thoroughly unhelpful as I am telling them to buy eels, uh, frogs and crabs um but you know that's just what I do and it was really nice I've had the best FaceTime in the world today that had me absolutely sobbing Emily has had her baby I'm sure by the time this goes out she will have told the world so oh my god just she had not long been out of surgery she had to have a c-section and just being allowed to be in that moment with her was just so special and to see little baby Dougie ah honestly what a fucking afternoon I've just ordered a pizza I've got a load more steps to get but I'm going to get them on the treadmill tonight I just want to get our thank you cards finished whilst watching Gilmore Girls and finish steps and then that'll be me done That'll be me done for today. Tomorrow I will go and get some cardio in to start off my day. And then wait for Andy to get home. Andy has actually just bumped into one of my mates from like the bodybuilding world at a festival. And they've just sent, both sent me pictures <laughs> of them together. And I'm like, this is great. I love the fact that that's just happened. Love that. Um, so he's having a good time. And yeah, it's just going to be a relaxing one for me, which I definitely need after this week. I know I haven't done much, but it has taken a lot out of me. I'm really bruised on my shoulder as well, where I have my vaccinations today. But I feel fine. I would actually go as far as to say I feel great for the first time this week, which is lovely. I just got a message on Instagram from Anton from Love Island asking if he could help me with my fitness plan. Um, I don't know where he would get the idea from that I would need one from him. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm, 